Hey guys, Curtis the Urban Farmer here. I want to talk about the crop called hackeri or salad turnips. These little guys here. So the cool thing about growing this crop is that in the shoulder season, particularly the fall, like right now it's late October, it's amazing. So basically I am planting this in the late summer and timing it so basically if I just count back my date to maturity, so this crop is typically 38 days and so I can count back from today. Um, or let's say, I've actually a bit, I've already harvested this bed once about a week and a half ago, maybe even two weeks ago. So it was mature at that point. So let's just say uh, the first week of October. Count back 40 days, let's just round it to 40 days. We will go back to about first, my third, I think about the third week of August. So if I plant this crop the third week of August, uh, it will be mature by late September, early October. And I can start harvesting it. And there's the cool thing about this crop is that you can harvest it in two ways to get a lot more of a harvest. So in the summertime, I'm growing this at about this size. So there's about 11, to, let's say 8 to 12 um, ping pong size turnips in the bunch. So I can sell that for three bucks. But in this context, in, this, in the main season, I'm mostly selling this to restaurants and I'm shank, I'm just harvesting and then sh ripping the greens right off there in the field, putting them in another tote, composting them or giving them to somebody's rabbits and uh, selling them loose in a six and a half pound case. But in the shoulder season, it's, it's a lot more of a marketable product to take to restaurants, especially when you've got nice big ones like this and you can sell that bunch for three bucks. So week and a half ago or two weeks ago, I came through this and I harvested about three cases worth. So I sell a six and a half pound case. So that was around 20 pounds, just under 20 pounds. And um, that was worth $120. So a week and a half later, I'm coming and harvesting these bunches. And so right now I've got 50 plus six, 56, 57, 58, 58 bunches at three bucks. So at first the bed made $120 a week and a half ago. Now I've got, let's just round it up to 60 times three, because I've actually got still a little bit more to harvest in this bed, um, is 180. Then I'll come back in another week and a half or two weeks and finish it off and just harvest another round of these. So you can see how all in all this bed, especially in the shoulder season, can be worth close to 500 bucks um, if you say, I was 120 at first plus 180, so that's 300, and I might come through again, now let's say a little bit less, so I might get another $100 worth, so $400 on a 25 foot bed by 30 inches, one crop, this is actually a tri-rotation area, um, in my book I write about high rotation and bi-rotation, high rotation is an area closest to my, my inner zone of my farm where, where each bed is getting turned up to four times a season. A bi-rotation is a double rotation area. So I had a primary crop, which was, this season was kale. Now I've got beets in there, so two crops in those beds. And same for most of these, but, but our primary crop finished earlier than we thought, so we were actually able to get two more successions of quick growing crops. So these beds actually had three crops in them per season. So if this bed did $400 for the hackeri, or the, the, the salad turnips. Uh, before that, it was radishes. So that would have been at least 200 bucks in radishes. And then before that, it was um, beets. We had our, our main crop of beets here. So that would have been worth, you know, a couple hundred bucks there. So two, four. So this bed, which was just tri-rotation, still made 800 bucks in a season. So you can see how with this kind of planting, this intensive planting, you can see how so much production can come off these beds in a season. So the cool thing about the turnips as well is that in the fall they're actually more lucrative than they are in the summer because in the summer I'm looking to make a quick harvest, maybe just two picks, get them out of the ground, get the bed turned over and plant it again because I've got more season ahead of me but in the fall at this point I'm not going to plant anything else in these beds so I'm basically situa situating myself to just ride this crop out until the cold kills it basically so I'm so that way that's why I'm getting you know I'm doing a first kind of a thinning harvest of a smaller crop that I'm just selling loose and then I'm selling a bigger crop because I freed up more space for that crop to stay in the ground and get bigger then I'll come through and finish it off with another smaller crop this bed here of hackeri salad turnips 
I cropped the other way the uh, for the restaurant. So check these out. So basically, I got a tote of greens, so I'm basically just ripping along and just, you know, making a loose, rough bunch in my hand and then tearing, tossing the greens to my left because I'm right-handed and then turnips to my right and I just, I'm just tearing through. And so I can crop a bed, you know, this is about, feels about 15, 18 pounds of loose turnips there. So that's three cases around. So that's about 120 bucks and that's done way faster than the turn, than the, uh, the bunches. But with the bunches, I ended up getting 75, at least 75, got three totes full, had about 25, 28, something like that in there. So I got about 75 bunches from that one bed, and then I'll go and thin it out again. This one, this one had been cropped a few times already, so it, you know I might get one more harvest after this, a light one. But you know, about 15 pounds off that. So I hope that helps. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the like and share these videos with your friends if you think they'll find them useful. Also check out my course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com and my book, The Urban Farmer at TheUrbanFarmer.co. All right, thanks for watching.